Hey beauties, it's me, Allegra. Babes, I thought it'd be really fun today to show how to create an easy smoky eye. This is definitely a great technique for beginner eyeshadow enthusiasts, or if you're a more advanced makeup lover, then I hope you enjoy today's tips and tricks as well. I am a professional makeup artist. I've been working for over 10 years in New York. I've worked on New York Fashion Week, private clientele. I do a lot of mature beauties. So I hope you'll subscribe if you're a beauty lover as well, if you're a makeup lover. So let's just dive right into today's video, this easy smoky eye tutorial. So with basically all of my eyeshadow looks, I love to start by prepping the eyelid with concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some concealer and apply this all over my eye space as a primer for our eyeshadow to follow. And I just like to take a synthetic hair shader brush and I just go ahead and smooth that concealer all over my eye area. So you wanna take it inwards into your tear duct area, somewhat out towards your, the bridge of your nose. Also smooth it up and outwards towards your brows to kind of carve them out and then you just wanna flick any extra outwards. And I did put on just a dab of concealer so you don't need a bunch of concealer for this look. Uh, just a little one dab of concealer will do and then you can smooth the product all over. So now I'm going to take my transition color to start. So I just got this recently. These are these beautiful little palettes from ColourPop and they have some gorgeous transition neutral colors inside, but they do also have pops of glitter. So this one is the cream soda palette. So I'm just gonna take the lighter shade in this palette. So I'm just gonna start with this and then I will probably mix in a little bit of this as well. So taking a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna buff that into the crease area. I like to start towards the front of my brows in this space and then bring out any extra. So I am starting with this shade after all because this was too light for me. So I'm moving into this shade. For your transition shade, you just wanna use a nice neutral, almost flesh toned, a little bit deeper than your natural flesh toned eyeshadow. So I'm just making little circular motions just to blend it in. It's blending into that concealer and it just makes such a beautiful effect. So that's pretty much it for that right now. Now we can move into the smoky part. This is so easy though, you're not gonna believe it. So what you do is you take a stick, an eyeshadow stick of some kind. So I've been loving these from Laura Mercier. These are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks and they do have a bunch of shades. So for a smoky eye, you wanna use one of the deeper shades like a cocoa brown or this one is a gray shade and then or a black. If you want it to be really intense, go ahead and move right into black. For today's look, I am going to use a more gray shade though. And this one is called Cobblestone from Laura Mercier. So let me go ahead and show you how I do it. It's so easy, you're not gonna believe it. So you just go ahead and take this caviar eye stick and you just go ahead and start applying it into your lower lashes. So you're putting it in your waterline and then also you can smudge it go ahead and let it smudge down into your lower lash area and then i'll go ahead and do the other eye you can hold it on the side and kind of smudge it very gently into the lower lashes and then you want to go ahead and just repeat on your upper lash line so you're just using it kind of like an eyeliner and then you want to go ahead and take a pencil brush and just go ahead and just smudge that out so very gently, you're just running it over the cream shadow that you just laid down. And then smudge the upper lash area. And then now you can really smudge it into your lid space. Go ahead and take that product and also work it into your lid area. You can build it up as much as you want. You can make it as smoky as you want. I am gonna bring some more smokiness to the upper lid area. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my eyeshadow stick now and just go ahead and work it into the whole lid space area. For the lid space area, I'm gonna go ahead and take, go back to our fluffy brush that we started with and just go ahead and buff that cream shadow into our crease area. That is pretty much it. Now what I'm gonna do now is bring back our transition color. So taking that same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into our upper crease area and bring back some of that transition shade, that neutral shade that we first laid down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use that same transition shade and buff out the lower cream shadow that we laid down. So just going right underneath that cream shadow, we're just gonna take a fluffy, semi-fluffy brush. This is a fluffy brush on the smaller side. Uh, there's no name on it, uh, but just any kind of semi-small fluffy brush. And you're just gonna buff out that cream shadow on the bottom. So you're just going underneath the cream shadow 
on the bottom that we first put down and holding the brush on the side I'm gonna, just to bump up this look just a little bit I'm gonna take some coal liner and this is a black coal eyeliner and I'm just gonna smudge it into my waterline and I'm just gonna run it very gently along my upper lashes and then you just want to go ahead and use your pencil brush again and just smoke it out very gently so just run your pencil brush just along it back and forth and that'll just smoke it out for you and also if you feel like the smokiness maybe goes down too low or it's getting too messy you can just go ahead and take your synthetic brush the brush that we used to put on the concealer and you can just go ahead and just very gently clean up any messiness or if the smokiness is too much you can go ahead and just kind of clean it up put a little maybe if you need to put a little bit more concealer on the brush and just very gently just clean up any shadow if there's too much if it's gone down too low or things like that so now i'm just going to put on some mascara this is the ColourPop act natural mascara and i'm just going to pop on a pair of wispy lashes i have some kiss wispy lashes and i'll be right back so beauties, I went ahead and added a pair of wispy lashes and this lip, this is the KKW number no. 3 lip liner with Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick and the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Pumping Lip Gloss on top. So I hope you beauties enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe and follow me on Instagram. So I hope you guys are all doing good. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye, I love you.